Yeah, you know, deciding to go from a tent to a trailer, I, I think the, re the biggest reasons we did that was to grow the business. I mean, I was doing perfectly fine, and I still have my tent, and I still use it in a lot of the street festivals, and some of the street fairs where uh, a trailer this size would not fit in. Uh, and uh, so I started looking at different manufacturers that were out there. I tried to focus on the top, what I thought were the top three or four manufacturers, and definitely Chance was right there, and number one and two is what I thought after doing some research. I had been talking to Mike probably over the period of easily, easily three years before I actually decided to buy. Uh, I had a rapport with him. I called him easily probably once a month. He called me back all the time, you know, and returned my calls and, and discussed some of my concerns, some of my issues, uh, especially knowing that the big questions were, can a, can, a, can, a, uh, can a tent outdo a trailer? You know, there's some big issues for me, you know, and, and some stuff. I know some big operators who operate only in tents and don't believe in trailers. And I know people who operate in trailers and, 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 and don't believe in a tent. And to me, the, the real answer was a cross between the both. And Mike Chance helped me kind of cross over to that and helped me actually design the trailer to fit my personality and my needs and even my philosophy of the tent versus the trailer situation and incorporate the best of both worlds. And I think that's what we've done here with the Fry Factory in, uh, in, in coming up with a solution that would help me generate sales. Uh, in my conversations and in my dealings with Chance Manufacturing, um, it was always an open and honest exchange of information in both ways. Mike took the time to listen to me. I listened to him and I took the feedback he gave me to adjust myself. And I think he learned a little bit from me as I felt, you know, being really honest with him and be, being upfront in what I needed and what I expected of him. You know, for us being the underdog, like I said, we've done, we've, we've been in business seven years, knew nothing about this, have been pretty successful. The curve has been straight up since year number one was letting him know up front that I've got a, that I've got a, that I've got a family, I've got a family to support. And uh, for me, you know, this being the first time out with a trailer, that this thing had to be right on target from day one. It had to be a home run for me. It had to be a home run for me and my family. And I wanted Mike to understand that early or early on, which I believe he did, so that he could connect with me on a personal level and he could, it would drive, and that did probably drive the rest of our dealings until I actually purchased the trailer. Uh, you know, he was upfront as far as us communicating, our, you know, my needs to him and, and setting up the, the blueprints and giving me the quote, adjusting where we need to be, uh, looking at my equipment needs, us designing the interior of that. Uh, I it was pretty open with that. Uh, Mike and his crew, as, as, as they got involved and we got closer to the actually design phase, were uh, instrumental in helping me uh, uh, design what I needed to design uh, in the most efficient manner uh, possible, right, to get our product out. Um, I did dealt, dealt with the graphic artist, which was, you know, I mean, she was right on target every time uh, with me. Just after meeting her for spending 30 minutes with her, um, she was able to get everything that I wanted on paper, onto a rendering with very few changes, to be honest with you, the first two or three times. Uh, the inside of the trailer, we had some changes in the inside, but pretty much went with the initial designs and made some small adjustments thereafter. Um, after I've got the trailer, there was, like anything else, bugs to be worked out. And uh, the crew was very instrumental in helping me work those out via the phone or uh, if they had to send me uh, you know, parts or whatever they may be right for the trailer right, and talk me through installs, they were able to do that. Uh, and we're always on target with that, always responding to my phone calls, um, and were able to give me uh, instruction, right, you know, remotely, right, to get things set up. I think the next stage for us with this trailer is um, it, t it does take a little bit of time to learn the trailer. We, it is a little bit different than a tent, but we've gotten better at this. I think, I believe this is our 12th to 14th event with this trailer, so we're starting to learn it a little bit better. We're starting to be more efficient with it. And understanding that having something like this is a, it's a powerful tool. And when you open up and there is a, a crowd of people or a line of people ready to go and you've got, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know 100,000 people or 200,000 people in an event or 25,000 people in an event, you need to be ready to operate, right? And Chance has made sure that, that, that we're ready to operate. I have all the tools that I need here to, uh, to make that happen, right, with the right design and, and, and the right... Uh, and the right uh, company behind me.